Hey everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. I edit my videos on my laptop. I use my 14 inch MacBook Pro and sometimes I just wish I had more screen real estate when I'm editing. And now I can actually get that because I have the Mobile Pixels Duex Plus and this is going to be a portable monitor that I can use with my laptop or other devices. And today we're gonna unbox it, take a look at it, and then we're actually gonna try it out and see how it works if I'm doing some editing or maybe some other task around So with other devices. So let's get it out of the box and try it out. And here we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a quick look around this box here. And we can see there's a little branding on the front here where it says Duex Plus. It says portable laptop monitor for anywhere work takes you. And it has a little MP over there for mobile pixels. And we can see there's some nice color splash up there with the monitor. So we take a look on the back here. We can see how it looks, how it's gonna mount onto the back of your computer. And they actually show it, it looks like on a MacBook Pro right there. So it's good for multitasking. It has flexible rotation, kickstand and portrait mode, auto rotation and hybrid signal. And it's gonna be a 13 inch monitor. So. Yeah, all right, let's go ahead and get this out of the packaging here. So uh, let's see, let's grab my knife and let's go ahead and cut through the plastic there so that we can get this out. And there we go. Get that all off of the, off of the box here. And let's get this out so we can see what this is gonna look like. All right, look at that. We can see it says setup guide or scan QR code. So, uh, so you can scan it or you can hit the, uh, the uh, short code there, the little bitly code and visit the link. It says a turnover and it shows here, it says uh, attachment guide. It says clean laptop surface with included alcohol pad and place the magnets towards the monitor side and remove the adhesive stickers. Ugh, I do not like adhesive stickers. I do not stick things on my laptop. I don't stick things like on the dashboard of my cars. I just don't use those adhesive stickers. They're, they're very, very strong. They're meant to be very, very strong so that you know, the devices you have uh, mounted to them don't come off. But also it means that those stickers are pretty much permanently on your device. And if you wanna take them off, it's sort of a hassle. You have to get a blow dryer and it's, yeah. We'll figure out what else to do. I can, apparently you can use this monitor without actually attaching it to the laptop. So I think we're gonna try that method instead. So, all right, let's keep it pushing. So we can see here it says, open the laptop monitor, slide the monitor and swivel the screen and connect the USB-C cable. So it looks like this back part is gonna attach on there and you can see how it's gonna sort of angle there. So, all right, let's take a look at the monitor right here and let's get that out and yeah, there we go. All right, well, I can tell you one thing. The monitor feels much, much uh, lighter than I anticipated. When I picked up the box, the box is a little bit heavy. So um, we can see here, I guess this is gonna be the instruction manual and extra adhesives. So if you need those adhesives, and then we can see here, you're gonna have the 3M stickers on there that you can use. And, um, and that's gonna help stick this to your device there. So. Again, I don't really like sticking stuff to my device, so I'm probably not going to do that. Um, man, that's just, I hate it when people, when people require you to stick something on there because it makes it difficult to actually, um, it makes it difficult to actually do a full review of it. So, all right, um, here is the cable. It's gonna be a USB-A to USB-C cable. Um, and actually it looks like there is a bit of a, it looks like there's an adapter on there, so you have, um, USB-C to USB-C or USB-C to USB-A if you need it. And this one is angled so that you can, uh, you can plug in and get the right, uh, the right connection fit. So, all right, I believe that is everything. I don't think there's anything else. Let's just take a look underneath here. And yeah, that's it. Okay, well, there we have it. All right, well, let me do this. Let me grab my laptop and see if I can get this on here without actually having to stick anything onto my laptop because I'm not really looking forward to that, but who knows? Um, maybe it's that ad kind of adhesive that once you put it on, it sort of sticks, but you don't have to like permanently have it on there. We'll see. Anyways, I'm gonna try it out, see how it goes, and, uh, and then we'll, we'll see if it, if it works in a way that I'm happy with it. 
All right, well, this thing says there's supposedly magnets in here. So I'm not sure if it is. It says uh, magnet locations. It says, uh, it says if monitor is brand new out of the box, follow yellow card to set up instructions. And then it says when magnets need to be reinstalled, use the template here. So I did use a template to try and figure out these magnets, but I don't feel any magnets in there. I think you just are using the stickers, but I did take the stickers off here. So hopefully we're gonna have this thing working right. And uh, I'm gonna set this right. There we go, I think that's gonna be it. It says press firmly down. And maybe there are some magnets. And once I took the stickers off, I did feel like there was a little bit of a, of, of a connection there. So, all right, here we have it there. And yeah, I think this is actually gonna work. Okay, all right. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing uh, hooked in and really see how it functions. All right, well, we can see here there are some controls right here on the back side of the monitor right there. We have the cable, so let's go ahead and get the cable hooked up. And let me just go ahead and make sure I have this thing, uh, make sure I have this set up right. So it looks like the, the part here that has the um, has USB-A to USB-C adapter, that's gonna go into the laptop, and then the angled adapter is gonna go into the, uh, the monitor here. So, <clears throat> all right, let's go ahead and plug this in right there. Let's plug this part in to the, uh, into the laptop right there. And now, let's go ahead and lift this up. There we go, we have that lifted up. And let me unlock that. And now let's go ahead and bring that all the way out. Look at that. There we have it. It is, it is actually on. Wow. And then we can make that adjustment there if we want to. And look at that. We now have our monitor up and running and that is pretty fantastic. So yeah, if we want to, uh, if we want to do something right here, let's see if this is already set up. It looks like it's already, um, it looks like it might already be set up here to, uh, to be a second screen. So I'm not sure how, it doesn't match the colors, but it does look like it's doing something. I'm trying to see if I can activate over there, if I can do anything. Let me just see if I grab a file, if I can drag it to that side. Uh, no, all right. Well, we know that the monitor is on and it's actually, uh, it's actually functioning. We have it mounted onto our, uh, onto our computer here. I just need to figure out how I can get this set up so it's actually, I don't want it mirroring, I want it to be like a secondary screen. So we'll just have to go into the settings a little bit and work that out. But let's get that done and then we'll, uh, we'll just give it a quick test run. Okay, so here everything is, it's all set up now. I went in and made the adjustment. All I really need to do is just go into my, uh, my system settings here and then I just needed to go to, um, to where it said displays and right here where it says arrange, I click that and I just had to make the adjustment so that it was on, that the Duex Plus was actually on the right side, whereas before it was on the left side. So now we have it properly lined up. Now I have a, um, I have a timeline open for a project that I'm working on, a product that I'm working on, and it's a, I have my unboxing video, which is a dual camera setup. Now, normally we can see how small this is on the screen when I'm editing. Now, to move it over to the Duex, all I need to do is just come up here to where I have my, uh, my screen settings there, my display settings, click that, and boom, you can see it moves it over to the Duex Pro, and look how much bigger that is. That is very, very nice. Now I can actually see what I'm editing instead of trying to uh, look at a little tiny box. Because look how small this is. If I bring it back over to my main screen, look how tiny that is. Now I go ahead and put it back over onto the Duex uh, Plus, and boom, look at that. That is really, really nice. I have to say, I am loving, loving this. So now, you should be able to use this not just with your computer, but with other devices. And my Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra actually has DeX mode and it has USB-C as well. So I'm gonna see if I can plug in my, uh, my Samsung to this monitor and actually have it work and have DeX show up on here. So let's give it a shot and see how it turns out. All right, let me show you how to get this in kickstand mode. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide this thing like this so we can pull it out. And now we can go ahead and fold it back 
and we can have it upright like this if we want to have it in the vertical mode or we can go ahead and we can uh and we can have it like this if we want it in the horizontal mode. All right, now you are gonna need some power with this if you're using your uh, your smartphone because I don't think the Samsung's gonna provide enough power. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this thing in and uh, and get some juice on there. And there are two USB-C ports on the side there so that you can plug in one to the uh, one to the monitor and one to the uh, and one to power. So let's go ahead and plug that in. And now let's plug this in to our um, let's plug this into our phone. And let's see if this is going to uh, if this is going to go. And yeah, look at that! It is. Uh, it has decks up on the screen. It says uh, now I can use my phone as a touchpad here. So let me see if I can. Um, let me see if I can get this going. Let me uh, let me use my phone as a touchpad. And there we go. Now I can open up. I can open up stuff here. So let's say I want to go to the Play Store. I can go there and um, and get this going. And if I wanted to say, um, let's say I wanted to go and check out something like, uh, I don't know what this is, True Caller, I can do that. And let me just, uh, here's Roadblocks or something like that. You can get that and then you can install it. You can, uh, oop, we don't want to have that there. And yeah, so you could do all kinds of cool stuff with this there. And let's go ahead and move this. Let's put that full screen there. And you can see there what it's going to look like. And this is very, very cool. So yeah, you could use this definitely as an external monitor for your laptop. So if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted to go to the internet, you can go to the, uh, to the interwebs there. And actually I don't even use, uh, I don't even use a Samsung browser. Let me find, let me go to Google here. We'll click that there. And there you go. And now if I wanted to go ahead and go full screen, I can go full screen and then I can, um, I can see, let me see, I think I might, there we go, we can slide up there and you can see, uh, and then you can get an idea of, of how to use this thing. So let's see, let's go. I think you need two finger swipes on there. And yeah, so now if I want to check out something like this, I just tap that, open it up, and there you go. We now have this working right there in, uh, in full screen mode. So this is awesome. I have to say, this is really, really nice because it's really incredibly light. I thought it was gonna be heavier because there's a lot of weight to the box, but if you wanted to just take this with you somewhere and then use this as your monitor and hook up your phone so that you can basically use your phone as a laptop, this would be really nice. The only thing it needs to be is you can see how it, it is. It needs to have a like it needs to have a little lift or something there. You may have to put some underneath it so that it uh, sits up at you know it's like level. Um, also, it'd be nice if you can get this thing angled um, the right way. But you can if you wanted to. I guess you could fold it all the way back like this, and then you can lean it up against something so that you have it. Um, you can angle it the way you wanted to. But um, yeah, this is really nice. And as you can tell, the screen looks really, really great. I'm surprised the screen looks really, really great. It's, it's, um, it just, it's, it's, I don't know what else to say about it. It's fantastic. I think that if you're looking for a, a second monitor solution for your laptop, this is really good because some people don't want to be tied to an office where you have like a traditional uh, external monitor. Sometimes you want to be able to take your uh, your your second monitor on the go with you, and this is going to give you the freedom to do that. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. It was a little bit longer of a video than I anticipated, but I really want to show you what this thing can do, and it is fantastic. I really love the fact that you can just flip this and make it a completely portable monitor. And if you have something of a stand, and I just use something basic like this Go Donut right here, you can simply put it right there and boom, now you have your monitor right there, portable, ready to go. You can set this on a table, a desk or something. If you're at a hotel, you can simply go ahead and hook it up like this. And even if you're just editing with say like your, with your phone, let's say you went and shot a vlog or something with your phone, you can go ahead and hook your phone up here. And if you have a Bluetooth mouse or a keyboard, you can have like a full blown portable computing system right here with this monitor as sort of the foundation of it all. So yeah. There you go. Big ups to uh, Mobile Pixels for the Duex Plus 
I'm gonna leave links to this down below in the uh, video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere. And I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.